It was July 20th, 1969, a Sunday evening, and three days into the mission of Apollo 11, my family was all gathered around the television, mom and dad and my brother and myself, and we were all staring at the possibly color picture by then, may have been black and white, with uh, Walter Cronkite and Apollo Mission Control narrating the astronauts landing approach to the surface of the moon and everyone was very quiet listening to what was going on and everyone was paying super attention and finally we heard uh, Neil Armstrong say tranquility base here the eagle has landed and at that point I knew something Special had happened. <laughs> I'm not supposed to get emotional about this, but I do. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. Of course, I wanted to be an astronaut from age seven or whenever, but uh, I started applying for that um, while in grad school at Stanford. I went through, I think, three application cycles. The first one didn't go anywhere. The second one, I was chosen to be one of the last 20 candidates for the astronaut program and was disqualified because of my uh, lack of depth perception, which was perceived to be a problem as far as an astronaut working would be, even though I was able to successfully work inside of a vacuum chamber and do all the experimental stuff uh, that needed depth perception. That wasn't sufficient for NASA to think that it was good enough, so they rejected me, and I was devastated for a day or two. And then I got over it. You have confidence in these servos with the plastic ears? Will they hold it straight from? Very nice. We got the closest we've ever gotten to hitting our target altitude. This is the checklist that we prepared. It covers what we need to bring to the launch site. You can see here all the components of the rocket. Sounds like a dumb Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty sticky right there. That's pretty much all we got for today. We're, uh, we just got to finish these last things up when you go to Alabama. We got. 555 miles to go. Rocket to the back in a bunch of boxes with our luggage. Looking good. Excited for the journey. We have just finished the assembly and are moving towards the launch pad. Rocket. I want a bigger diminuendo, so let's go back to letter D. Go back to letter D, and then to the coda. Letter D to the coda, diminuendo on the last uh, four bars, dramatically. One, two, three, and uh, four, and... So, yeah, I got over being an astronaut, but I'd still like to experience what an astronaut experiences somehow, some when. Have I had dreams about lifting off? Yeah, I've gone through it in my head many times. 
I go through it in my head every so often, what it would be like. Looking out the window, looking at the earth go by at five miles a second. Tremendous view.